got original. Uh, these radios came in the 1967 through 72. It's original AM radio. Uh, we've done a uh, polished job, redone the case. It's got brand new chrome on it, brand new inside chrome knobs, original front knobs. And we've done a roar design conversion on it. It now has AM FM stereo, four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got three pre-outs on it. You can add an amp to your rear speakers or even a sub. It's got auxiliary in. This is your uh, two-piece harness that you'll be getting with it. One that you can hide in the truck and a hole on the dash or wherever you want to put this in. And a male to male to plug into it. Uh, that is automatic. Whatever device you put into it and turn it on and hit play, radio automatically changes over to it. Uh, it has Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, streaming your music, voice command. It's got voice ID and will scan your stations. Uh, right now you have a, uh, I still got a little more polishing to do there. I got a built-in mic right here. You can't see it, but it's in that M. Plus you get an extra mic in case you need it, in case your truck's a little loud. Plug it in over here on the side. Uh, your push button comes with it. You can operate the radio from up here or the push button. And uh, we're going to demonstrate right now. You're on FM. You got a little uh, stereo light over here, and you got a uh, LED right here, which is changes multiple colors depending on what your radio is doing. You're on FM right now. Go into any other relate. You just for you. Trouble and bass like you've always had. You also, uh, depending on how many speakers you hook up, you have balance and fader built in your toner. I've got four speakers hooked up to it, so I'm going to demonstrate that for you. Uh, if you want to go to AM radio, just simply turn the unit off and right back on. It takes you to AM radio. His first two of the game. 650 in national. Declaration at the U.S. Mexico border. Turn it off and right back. I'll take you right back to FM. Being a minister's husband is a. Got all your presets up. Let's set a few presets. The only one I got up in there is that one. So let's go, let's set some presets up. I'll turn it down so we don't get gigged on it. There's a preset working. I gotta stay away from that upper end up there. They always gig me on that. Uh, that's how your AM FM works. Your presets and all, if you find a station. Now this thing will scan stations for you. I'm gonna show you how to do that. All you do is take the tuner knob and you can listen, she'll come in and tell you, take it and turn it up twice. One, two. Scanning for stations. They were definitely now it's going to start scanning for stations without the needle moving. I'm going to show you how to lock on a station. Are you going to show you how to find the station in case you want to pull preset out and, and preset it. We'll let it keep going a few stations. If you notice this little and LED is blinking. Any women like you? You know what? What do you that need? That means it's right? scanning. Just what do you need to hear? How do you need to feel? And the goal. Say we like that station there. All we gotta do is turn it once. Station hold. It'll hold it, or it will go quiet till I find it. Pull out a preset, and you got it. And once it once it ends and back solid, you're right back to normal. You can go ahead and do what you need to do with it.
Now I'm going to show you how to do the balancing fader. All you do is back your toner up. There's a center notch there. You can feel it in that. And we're going to go into fader first. We're going to go clockwise like a 12 to 2 motion. And she's going to come on and say in the fader mode. And then as long as you're moving this in that mode after she says that, you can fade from front to rear. Fader adjust. There's your rears. There's your fronts. All right, we're going to balance it out. Let her set it. Fader set. All right, now we're going to go back to that same position. We're going to go counterclockwise, like a 12 to 10 motion. We're going to go into balance. Balance adjust. There's the right side. There's the left side. We're going to balance it out. Let her set it. Balance set. There we go. Uh, we're going to do auxiliary in first. Like I said, it's automatic. All you do is pull your cord out. Of course, you got Bluetooth. I don't know why you'd want to use it, but you never know. You might have somebody get in your car and want you to listen to something. Plug it in, bring your device up, and all you got to do is hit play. Anytime you're on auxiliary and your little uh, LED in behind that needle there is going to green. When you get ready to go back to radio, just simply turn your device off. CD players, whatever you want to put into it, uh, CD changers, your phone, uh, satellite radio. And during that 20 seconds, it's dead air while it cycles back around. If you want to not have 20 seconds of dead air, just turn it off and right back on. It automatically switches over if you don't touch it. That's how your auxiliary end works. Now we're going to do our Bluetooth. You're going to do the initial pair up just like I'm doing right here. You're going to bring your phone up make sure you're on Bluetooth. You, do, you can do it two different ways. You can do it here or with this push button. You hold the push button down. Ready to pair. Ready to pair. Showed up on her phone. All we gotta do is tap on it. She'll tell us when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Alright, now we're connected up. Now we're gonna do a voice command. We're gonna check out this mic right in here and make sure it's ready. And we're gonna do a voice command and there's, there's two ways of doing it, but I'm gonna do it with a push button first. Hold it down. Bring your phone up. Play music. Playing all songs. Shuffled. Now it's going to music on my phone. We'll bring it up so you can watch what I do. To advance your songs, press the button once. To back up, hit it twice. Or you can take the tuning knob, go up once, or back. That's how you do that. Now if we want to go back to the phone, or go back to the radio, there's two ways of doing it. Let's go back to the phone. I'm having trouble with my phone, it's crazy. Let's try it again. Play music. Having to keep rebooting my phone for some reason. Got it now. If you want to advance the song, press it down once. Now 
you can advance it with your tuning knob. You can back up. And if you want to summon your phone up, hold it down, bring your phone up, tell me what to do, call home, look for restaurants, whatever you want to do. You can also do it with the volume knob. You can take it up twice. Stop music. Back to radio. You can actually bring your phone up with the volume knob again, up twice. Play music. Back to music on my phone. Now, if a phone call comes in, it'll override whatever you're doing. If you're playing music, playing the radio, you'll hear it ring. All you gotta do is press your push button once or turn your tuning knob up one click, answer your call and talk. When you're done, you can let the phone hang up. It'll go back doing whatever you had it doing or you can actually end the call by turning it down or push pressing this twice. Working from sun to sun. Take the volume knob, let's hold it, you can hold this down, bring your phone up, let's do the volume knob, up twice. Stop music. Now we're going back to radio, we're going to do one more From test on it. This is the Moth Radio app. What we want to do is after you do the initial pair up, every time you get in this vehicle and you have your phone with you, when you turn this on, she should come on and say device Bluetooth connected. We're going to make sure that happens. We're going to turn it off and wait just a few minutes. We're going to take my phone and put it in my pocket. And now let, she should come on and say connected. Legendary figure here. First thing I heard when I got up. Bluetooth connected. With Buddy Vanderhoof. That's all we're on. People it's telling us stories up. about him. Uh, he's a genuinely remarkable figure and he's going to tell us a wonderful story. And when I asked Buddy, think of the time another to fake out one another, I will. That's your original 67 through 72 C10 radio, Bluetooth, four channels out, subs, whatever you want to put onto it, ready to go. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.